The army of North Sudan have come and captured the Abia town. They have destroyed uh, the life of the people. There was burning, there was shooting. We tried to move from house to a house. Some got killed and some also. They were catch and I don't know where they are. <laughs> We're here with Samaritan's Purse distributing non-food kits to displace people. These uh, people actually walked five days, then immediately turned around and walked here, which is approximately another one to three day walk depending on their children. We're really handing out two bags. One has a tarp for shelter and soap for hygiene, and then the other bag is a non-food item, which include mosquito nets, jerry cans, which is very, very important out here. In fact, that's one of the most important things we're giving out besides the shelter, and uh, blankets. We're walking uh, through the passes. These passes are from the uh, Abaye area. These areas are very hard to find, and uh, if it weren't for the pastors, we don't know if these people would have been identified. Can we find them? Yeah. All right. The uh, pastor is uh, picking out the people in his congregation that are here. I'm Pastor Santino, a parish priest of Abaye. These are the members of my church in Abaye. They have nothing. They sleep under the tree on the ground, and this is where they live. Okay. People were just glad to see that here's their pastor, uh, the church, the hands and feet of Christ coming to them and to help them and to serve them. The people of Sudan have been under an area of conflict for many, many years. They're all looking forward to July 9th, 2011, when again the South Sudan becomes a, a state of its own. Having come in and made contact with the pastors, we feel that this helps prepare us for potential needs that may arise uh, on or before or even after July 9th, 2011.